no, Bray, no. Stay where you are. You told me you had to have a reason for killing. There's no reason or sense in this. You have to be crazy. I'm as sane as you are. Then what pleasure would you get out of killing him? Man with a camera. Starring Charles Bronson. I'm Mike Kovac. I've photographed all kinds of people, and I've never seen one that was all bad, as they said Bray was. A relentless killer, cruel and cold. I wanted a picture of that face. Warden, please. Kovac just came through. Okay, thanks. I've been a warden here for 12 years. I've seen all sorts of murderers, but nothing like Bray. The judge said he was the only completely evil man he'd ever known. I'm curious why you want to talk to him. Maybe he'll let me take his picture. The last hours of a man about to die. I figure there's more to it than that. The judge says he's completely evil. The papers call him unregenerate. I can't believe that about any man. You know yourself, there's no man 100% evil. Listen, Bray comes from the same neighborhood that I was raised in. I never knew him, but the ones that did say the same thing that you do. Except one, old lady Kozlenko. She said that Bray used to come over to her house, play with a cat, and play with the kittens. She thinks he was one of the most gentle people she's ever met. I just want to find out who's right. And if I get a picture too, that won't make me mad. Well, I've tried talking to him, it's no use. He's pure hate. He hates the whole world. Sure, if he didn't hate, he wouldn't kill. But Edwin Bray killed five people. Not for money, not for profit. Five people he hardly knew had nothing against. He just decided they should be dead. No remorse, no regrets, nothing. You think there's any good in a man like that? You believe in Santa Claus. Now, you still want to talk to him? Yeah. Okay. The only reason I'm doing this is I know he won't talk to anybody, but I want to satisfy you. Ask the warden. Let me talk to one of the guards on Bray. Oh, hello, Hayes. Tell Bray he's got a visitor, Mike Kovac. Yeah, tell him Mike comes from his old neighborhood and he knows a woman named Kozlenko. That's right. I tell you, you're wasting your time, Mike. Yeah. All right, thanks. Bray says he'll talk to you. The guard says he acts like he knows you. Man like Bray about to die won't be a pretty picture. It's never a pretty picture when a man's about to die. You know the rules in the death house. No contact with the prisoner. No more than two shots. Let's go. <laughs> They're all yours, not too long. Hello, Bray. How's Mrs. Kozlenko? She's fine. She has to be remembered to you if I got to see her. I don't want to be remembered by anybody. What do you want to see me about anyway? Wanted to talk. What about? What about you? Don't make me laugh, Kovac. All right, take my picture. That's what you came here for, isn't it? Monkey in a cage. Bray, everyone's a monkey in some sort of a cage. You're no different. Some of us find a way out, that's all. Oh, don't moralize with me, Kovac. It doesn't fit your face. 
But suppose you let me see your face. I'd like to see the face of a man who killed five people. I'd like a close-up of a guy who throws life away like it was out of style. Other people's as well as his own. You're wrong, Kovac. There was a reason. You want to know what it was? You take my picture. Kind of a picture I hear you take, you'll find the reason in my face. Still here? Yes. I want to see him. Tell the Father Bray wants to see him. Yes, sir. You know, Bray, I never did believe all those things they said about you. Yeah? You were the only one, then. have as much privacy as possible. And don't try to take our picture, please. All right, stay back. You open the door. Listen, break. Shut up, hold back. You said it yourself. We're all monkeys in a cage. Only some of us get out. Well, I'm getting out. You'll never get beyond that door. Oh, no? Well, if I don't, neither will the Padre. You get me, I get him. Get up against that wall. but if I ever get a chance, it's you. Okay. Here's your chance. Looks like soap. Yeah. Soap and blacking scraped off my own shoe. Now me and the father are taking a little walk. That'll give you an idea what'll happen if you follow me. Kovac, you're coming with me. Sort of like my advance guard. Get his key. Give him the keys. May God have mercy on your soul. You save that for someone that needs it, Father. All right, gentlemen, let's go. I'm locking this door, Father. Bray's just broken out. Sound the general alarm. Hold it. Hold up that door, Colette. Open it and step back. This is Bray. Who's in there? Look out, Bray, there's a guard, a nurse, and a doctor in here. Thanks, whoever you are. Guard, I got two men out here with me. If you're not out of there in 15 seconds, you can have one of them, or what's left of them. Take the nurse and the doctor with you. All right, Bray, but you won't get far. 
Get out of here. Leave your gun behind. There's trouble for anyone that joins them. Get out. All right, come on in. They're all gone. Let's go. Right. Yeah. You sure spread over the papers. I'm Mel Hinchley. I'm in for life, so you can count on me for anything. Rat meets a rat. Who's he? That's Mike Kovac. He's a photographer. All right, priest, over there by those beds, and stay put. I beg you to think this over. What this? You're wasting your breath, Father. They won't listen to you. That's Nick, Johnny, Reese. He won't be any good, but Blondie there can come in handy. She's his sister. You come near me, you big ape, and I'll brain you. All right, let's you take that. You can guys watch those other windows. All right, you, go back, answer the phone. Mike? Yeah, it's me. What's going on there? Well, Bray's holding down the front end with a pistol. And there's a small brain here who's got a hold of a rifle. He's covering one side. And there's a Nick and Johnny holding down the other side. They don't seem too happy about it, though. There's a guy sick in bed. He's got a sister visiting with him. All right. Bray, the warden says you haven't got a chance. The best you can do is hold out for a couple of hours. Now, he's willing to go along with any proposition you have to offer him. I'll tell him my proposition. I want a car brought around to the door and I want it left there. When it gets dark, I'm taking off. I got two hostages here. You want to hear him scream, you try something or try to stop me. That's my proposition, Warden. You take it or leave it. I got nothing to lose. Hang up. All right, you all heard me. I'll tell you all the same thing. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill him. Now, when I make my break, you can come with me or you can go. That's up to you, I don't care. We won't give you any trouble. Same here. Johnny, watch this door. You know who this man is, gentlemen? This is Mike Kovac. He's a famous photographer, an artist, a celebrity, a success in a room full of failures and misfits, thieves and murderers. Bow to him, gentlemen. Ask him kindly and he might take your picture. A picture by the famous Mike Kovac, huh? Nothing to say, Mr. Kovac. Yeah, I got something to say. Why were you ever born? You ever say anything like that about me again, Kovac? I'll kill you. Then don't ask. You don't think much of your life, do you? Well, you're wrong. I think a lot of it. I think a lot of every human life, even a wasted one like yours. But you couldn't understand that. You're a man that's killed five people, maybe six. People that lived and breathed and had other people love them. And you killed them. How can you live with yourself, Bray? What on God's earth do you want to live for? Here. I'm sending the car. It'll be in front of the infirmary in a couple of minutes. Now you're getting smart. Let me talk to Kovac. What do you want to talk to him for? I want to be sure that he and the father are all right, and I want to hear it from him. All right. Hello, Mike. Can I talk? Can, can you hear me? Answer yes or no any way you can. Now, we think we've got to take a chance. We're sending the car to the front door to take their attention off the north side. That's where we're bringing up the tear gas. We've got a couple of men in the corridor ready to break in at the right time. I've got a short wave rigged up. Now, are you willing to stand guard on the phone and warn me if Bray gets wise? I can call it off. He 
Yeah, everything's fine here. They're bringing the car up. Well, if you want to send a car, it's all right with me. Anything you do. All right, Jake, start moving in. Keep talking as long as you can. I've got the men moving. Surprise is the main thing. Thanks for your company. If you hold on, I'll ask him. Father, the warden wants to know how you're holding out. Tell him as well as anyone else here. Jake says 30 seconds more and he'll have it. Tell him to keep moving. Keep going. The guard that Bray shot is in the hospital. He's in a bad way, but he'll pull through. Well, that's fine. You know, Warden, I'd appreciate it if you'd call my father for me. All right, you've talked enough. Hang up. Free. Free. You want to say anything more to the Warden? Look out, Warden. Cut it. Get back. Get back. you learn all this? I had an idea once about being a nurse. What happened to it? It died. Now hold still. Thank you very much. It's not too late. I got knocked down too many times, Father. If you have faith in yourself to rise, you will. You mind, Father? Miss? If you don't mind, I have no objection. You're an optimistic man. Why not? Hey, what's your hurry? Take your hands off me. Why, you dirty little... Get out of here. <laughs> against brawn. Too bad for you it isn't good enough against this. Yeah, you've got all the answers. You've got it made, haven't you? Well, congratulations. Let me help you up, Father. He just knocked the breath from me. I'll be all right. Where's my gun? I'll kill him. I'll you kill him. got what was coming to you. I'll take care of Kovac. Bray, the father's old and he's hurt. Why don't you let him out? You'll still have me as a hostage. Suppose it was a choice. You or him. I don't know what's eaten into your brain, and I don't care anymore. But let the father go. All right, let him go. I'm bored with him and his piety. Let him out, Johnny. Let him go now, father. With God's guidance, I'll pray for all of you. You pray for yourself, old man, not for me. You most of all. Well, no, Bray, no. You stay where you are. You told me you had to have a reason for killing. There's no reason or sense in this. You have to be crazy. I'm as sane as you are. Then what pleasure would you get out of killing him? I'll let him go, Bray. All right. It'll be dark in about an hour. We'll 
would go then. I don't want my picture taken. Get it out of there. What's the difference? Yeah. <laughs> Gordon. Yes? This is Bray. I want those yard lights put out. All right, but they're on automatic switch. It'll take a couple of minutes. Okay, hustle it up. A few more minutes. I'm all set, Warden. All right, Bray should be coming out any moment. Any special instructions? No, no, pick your own spot. Be careful. I'll shoot from right here. You told me you didn't believe all those things ever said about me. You still feel the same way? I've always believed there was some good in every man. I still believe it. Even a murderer like me? You said we were all monkeys in a cage. Only some of us find our way out. How did you get out? Well, the night my mother died, I blamed it on the doctor. And I tried to kill him. My father tried to stop me. I'll never forget the look on his face. What happened? He started to pray. I stopped fighting, and the cage door was open. How did it feel? It felt like I was a free man. My doors never opened. You're looking at a man with no luck at all. I'm as smart as you. Probably had a better education, too. Never got me anything. I've never had a break in this world. Only failure. You don't think I'll get out of here, but I will. And I'll go someplace where nobody knows me. Maybe Mexico or South America. Like I was reborn. This time I'll succeed. Sure, sure. You don't believe it? I believe it. I got the lights. Okay. I'm leaving now. I'm taking Kovac with me. The rest of you stay. You dirty double-crossing. All right, Kovac. We're going out now. You're gonna drive and we're going straight out that front gate. How far do you think you'll get? Oh, you underestimate yourself. Nobody's gonna try to stop us with you as my hostage. But suppose they do. Then we'll both die. Open the door. There they are. Bray's not giving me much room. Move. Dead. You don't sound so happy. 
who's ever happy to see any man die. A cold-blooded killer without redemption. You wouldn't believe me. That's right. Ever find out why he killed him? You've heard of men who couldn't stand success? Well, Bray couldn't stand failure. Oh.